I will now turn this over to Brian Klepfeld, the Director of Job Service at North Dakota. Uh, thank you, Don. Uh, a, lot, a lot of good stuff going on with all our committees. Uh, uh, in 2018, the Workforce Development Council identified populations with barriers as a keen theme to solving workforce challenges across North Dakota. Now, we've had a, a, a subcommittee of the Workforce Development Council uh, dealing with the populations with barriers. And there, there are a lot of different barriers out there, anything from homelessness to addiction to uh, there's just a whole list of, of uh, different things that you can consider. We looked at uh, ex-offenders, and ex-offenders were identified as one such population who experienced barriers to entering the workforce, including the lifelong impact of criminal conviction on their record. Uh, just a few statistics for, uh, for 2020. So there were 1,600 prison releases uh, approximately each year. Okay, without a steady paycheck allowing the basic needs to be met, such as housing and food, many ex-offenders return to the prisons. Recidivism rate of 40.3% in 2020. Reducing recidivism is a, is a public imperative and DRC, Department of Corrections Rehabilitation, has seen this number reduced when the population participates in both education and work experience in preparation for obtaining gainful employment upon release. Uh, the employment rate in, at the end of October was 4.4% in the state. And, uh, you know, with, with this pandemic, we, we were one of the lowest uh, unemployment uh, rate states in the, in the nation. And uh, the, 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 through the COVID-19 has impacted workforce statewide, low unemployment remains a challenge. And still, even with, the, with this COVID and all the things that have, uh, have slowed down you know, with the economy, uh, there are still over 13,000 job openings with in-demand jobs in skilled trades, transportation, IT, and a wide variety of other industries. And we, our, our committee, and Workforce Development Council endorses ex-offenders are a target group to fill these in-demand positions. The Workforce Development Council is recommending a three-tiered approach to create a pathway to successful transmission of ex-offenders into our communities to improve employment and drive economic efficiency. The first tier is a job placement pilot program. And this is a collaborative effort between Job Service North Dakota DOCR, the F5 project, and employers with a goal to, to place recently soon release ex offenders into in demand positions in North Dakota. Job Service North Dakota works uh, directly with DOCR and, and F5 to identify employers and participants. Supplemental to existing service under WIOA, this is a federal grant that uh, through Job Service that. Uh, serves the, uh, the less privileged. And so there are some federal dollars for this type of program. And there's also uh, governor set aside dollars through the WEO program that we'll be using to fund this also. We will serve an addition, uh, additional 40 participants per year in both Fargo and Bismarck. So we're, we're looking at 40 per year, so a total of 80 in the biennium. And when you look at uh, 1,600 prisoner releases each year, this is a relatively small pilot project, but we, started, we figured we'd start small, and if this is successful, we can always expand later on. Using available VO funds and set-aside funds, the program offers an employee incentive by matching 50% of the participant's salary for up to six months. So if a business hires this, uh, this ex-offender, they, okay, we, we can match the salary up to 50% for six months. And additional support may be available for items such as transportation tools or equipment. And additional incentive for employees include up to a $25,000 in fidelity bonds for hiring ex-offenders in this case something happens. So that's the first tier. The second tier is a, is a kind of a certificate program. And again, this is a partnership with Job Service North Dakota DOCR and the Workforce and Workforce Development Council. Utilizing the framework existing under the Pro Board, 
participants, including ex-offenders participating on the job placement pilot, as well as ex-offenders preparing, preparing for parole. This allows the opportunity to apply for a certificate to demonstrate rehabilitation and work readiness in becoming a contributing member of society. And the thing to remember, this program does not remove any convictions from the record. So the, the process would be with the, uh, with the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, they have a lot of great training programs with Rough Rider Industry. They have a great uh, education program for GEDs and other, other things that uh, we can get some trained, skilled workforce out of there. And so if, if there is an inmate that is, uh, or is ready for parole, the, uh, the, the uh, parole probation usually does a background check to make sure that this person will be ready. And including in this background check that will go to the parole board will be a readiness for employment. And uh, so that would be kind of an endorsement to say that, yeah, this person has participated in all the training programs they can and is a good employee and will be a, will it be a good, good fit for a, a, an organization. And so it would be, a, you know, it's, it's a good program. There's a lot of well-trained individual ex-offenders that, that come out and uh, hopefully we can get them placed in the job market so that we can uh, find have them be a productive member of society and this is not only a good program it's really the right thing to do i mean it's it, we really need to help uh, get uh, get those ex-offenders employed and then plus it will help the uh, job market in, in uh, north dakota so then our third tier will be kind of a marketing campaign and, and what we're doing now is probably pretty much uh, kind of a marketing campaign we're going to utilize existing statewide commission networks such as North Dakota Sherm, Chambers, and, and Job Service North Dakota Business Advisors. Uh, so we will, uh, Job Service North Dakota, Commerce, DOCR, and that five project will collaborate to wrap around and promote their programs to employers. Now, some of this uh, marketing, you know, would, in, would include, uh, you know, maybe some testimonials from some businesses that have, uh, that have hired ex-offenders. And uh, and and again, just to let them know that these individuals are are, are trained and ready to be in the workforce and are, and ready to rehabilitate. Uh, the focus of the campaign will be education about hiring uh, sex offenders, including testimonies from ex offenders about the impact of being given a second chance and employers that benefit from hiring ex offenders. So it's a, it's not just hiring sex offenders, all, hiring all offenders, but really to make sure that we have a, a, a workforce to, to choose from. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's probably what the, the main focus of this program would be. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's uh, going to be, you know, just basically the funding that I talked about for this program, uh, really no general fund dollars, which we know with this legislative session may be a little bit more difficult, but we are going to use uh, some uh, we owe funding both uh, from job service and from the governor set aside of about 650,000. For that, we're going to be using to hire you know a couple of caseworkers to work with these individuals, these adult workers, and uh, and hopefully you know the workforce development council will, will approve the set aside for this purpose. And uh, no additional funding is really needed, and uh, you know and uh, there might be some statutory changes to to Northwest Century Code, which we will work on. And then like I say, the marketing is just kind of what we're doing now and we will continue to, uh, to do that and promote this, uh, these, uh, these good trained workers to get in and help out in the workforce. So 